All right, people, welcome back. More Fake Card Friday. So today, we are looking at a Chemical Beast card. This card is actually sent to me, and you know what? It fits in line with everything because, of course, today's Daily of Duels, Chemical Beast, and uh, the way that it's looking like on the polls, I'm not sure if it's going to get another month, so it looks like next Friday we'll be doing the deck profile for Chemical Beast. Either way, double Chemical Beast today, because why not? All right, so this is an Exceed Monster for Chemical Beast that's actually ranked 2, and... Uh, before I even get into the card, I think that's an awesome idea. I really do. Uh, you do play some level 2s that at times can't really change their level too much. I mean, of course, you are playing the one that you special summon the Chemical Beast. Well, actually, you special summon Gemini Monster from your hand, and um, your Chemical Beast become that level, that Gemini Monster, so you can do rank 8 plays. But what happens if you have, like, Crab, or I don't remember the other one, the one I just described? They're both level 2. What do you do with them? You know, like, I guess you can go into that one guy who can't patrol a battle and bounces. I forgot his fucking name. You know, I'm not great with your rank twos, you know, gotcha, gotcha, I don't know. But, Chemical Beasts, they got themselves a, you know, a rank eight, but they don't have themselves a rank two. So, you know, possibly they could uh, get, if they're still getting some more support, can get a rank two in the next set. But here's the fake card Friday of a rank two Chemical Beast. So let's go ahead and look at this. And this card was real. How good would it be? Just a super Chemical Beast Nitrate Ethyl. So, I, I think all chemical beats have some chemical name composition or whatever, so, you know, I just call crab crab, and then crab is really the only one I know by name. <laughs> I think there's oxide, I think? So, I don't know, I don't know. I've been playing this deck for the last month, and I don't know anybody's names. Good job. <clears throat> anyway, this is a water rank 2 sea serpent XC effect monster with 2,000 attack and 2,400 defense. So stats are not bad for rank 2. I mean, 2,000 is appropriate for rank 2. And the 2,400 booty, too? I'm like, wow. So, overall, stats great. Uh, made with two level 2 Gemini monsters. So it's not generic. Can't just make it anybody. It has to be two level 2 Gemini monsters, which is fine. Uh, let's go ahead and look at this effect. So, as long as this card has an Xim material, all face-up Gemini monsters on the field are treated as effect monsters and gain their effect. So, that's pretty good. That's pretty good, and it would really work well with the tandem of Sparkfield, because despite Sparkfield's like, hey, you get that, you know, you get that effect and stuff like that, you still play uh, additional cards that get an effect. You play, um, well, some people play Supervise, uh, some people play uh, Unleash Your Power, just to have the monsters, to have the additional summon and get an effect. So, with this... Any monster that you generally summon gets effect, so you could just be like, all right, well, this has me covered for the uh, the additional summon for the effect, so I can just go summon my crab. It already has the effect because this is on the field, so go ahead and get my search. Get the additional normal summon of, what, a level 5 or higher that, uh, without tribute, Let's go ahead and summon my, my Oxide. He already has this effect because uh, this card's on the field. Go ahead and banish and pop. So, overall, like, this in tandem with Sparkfield would be really good, like, and... It looks like you don't have to jump through, you know, hoops. And, well, jump through hoops, quote-unquote, because you could probably just throw in, like, a dragon's mirror. It's not really that efficient, and chemical beasts aren't the fastest of decks, so sometimes it uh, takes a little while to get your uh, monsters in the graveyard. So to get your monsters in the graveyard, then play the dragon's mirror, which, of course, you have to draw into them like this, which you always have access to while it's in the extra deck, to summon Ramparted, Rampartinus. Ramp, rapness, rapness, rapness. The 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 fusion Gemini monster against the monsters. They get, monsters get the Gemini effect. See, I, I I haven't done any research. I literally just jumped into this. Like, rip, good job, good professionalism, Daniel. <laughs> so that that first effect is good, you know. But it, you only get effects on the size of key material. So what do I, what am I detaching for? Let's go ahead and look at that. Once a turn, you can detach one key material from this card immediately after this effect resolves. Normal summon one Gemini monster from your hand. Okay, so more Gemini summoning, like. That's not terrible either. It really is not. So I get a normal summon and then the detach to get another normal summon. Like I could easily see uh with this card is real, I could easily see uh chemical beasts kinda out speeding you and out resourcing you. You know? You like summon the crab, you get the effect, you banish the search, summon off that pop, you know, you summon your uh I think it, I don't remember its name, the one that summons from the hand and gets a search. There's another one where it's like you summon from the graveyard, like discard summon from the graveyard. I don't think that's necessary. I think you could literally just run, I'd rather run Sunga Memories, to tell you the truth, than run that card. <laughs> like, not only does it use my normal summon, but then I gotta use my effect gaining abilities if I don't have like a sweeping one. Then I discard or something, I'd rather just go Sunga Memories summon. You know, and then if I want to, I can use my normal summon for that monster game. In fact, not the monster summon. So I don't even play the one that summons from the graveyard, the discard summon from the graveyard. I don't even play him. 
Uh, and, I, I, and tell you the truth, I don't even summon the other level 8 one, the defensive one. With the big old 28 booty, don't run him either. There's really no point. I mean, I'll go more into detail when I do the deck profile, but there's a lot of chemical beasts that I don't even run. So it was mostly just, am I summoning Oxide, the 28 high attack monster to banish and pop? Am I running Crab to get the search? Or am I summoning the one that gives me the additional summon from my hand and then all of them become level 8, which is generally what I'm going to summon, unless you know, I'm going to this. Uh, Overall, this would definitely help. It would speed up the deck, at, you know, the searching, the popping, the rank eight. It would all be just be helpful, you know, and uh, maybe get used to out of the rank eight monster a little bit quicker because, like I said, chemical beasts are a little slow, and then the, the rank eight monster is like, hey, well, and I'm summon on summon, I get to summon a uh, Gemini monster from the graveyard. And it's like, yeah, that's cool. Or I think it's a chemical beast monster. It's one of the two, and it's like, yeah, that's that's great, that's awesome, that's nice and all. But sometimes I don't even have the you know the chemical beast in the graveyard for him to summon. You know, and it's not like it's detached where it's like, uh, I get to, you know, pick and choose or take it slow or something like that. No, it's like on summon. So, you know, yeah, uh, more often than not, I go into other rank eight plays outside of my own boss monster because of how slow chemical beasts can be. But I guess you'll see that in today's daily duels. Uh, so that, that first effect, that detach, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. It's interesting that it says immediately after this effect resolves, you summon, you know? It's not like you just detach it into the material and then you get a normal summon, additional normal summon this turn. It's like, no, you immediately you have to do it right now. So it's like, okay, okay. Like, I think that's interesting that it's like that, but oh, we're on up table. And then the last effect, because uh, it seems like every uh, card has to have, like, a continuous effect and a detach effect, and then, of course, that this card is into a graveyard effect. <laughs> I'm looking at you, Treat Toad. You can go, you know, uh, fucking Treat Dick, right? Uh, <laughs> if this card is sent to the graveyard, period, just sent to the graveyard, and you don't have to be destroyed by, by battle, by card effect, anything, just if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one chemical beast monster in your graveyard, add it to your hand. So, it even pays you back. So, usually, you would make this go neg, because you take too much to go into one, and it's a kinetic effect, that doesn't give you any pluses. It's detailed effect, that doesn't give you any pluses, because summoning a monster from your hand to the field, that's not that's the same amount of resources. But, just to make it up, when this card leaves the field, usually you would go neg, you lost one of your monsters, this will repay you back. So, in the end, you would even out with this card. Overall, a great card. I really do. I think that if Chemical Beast got this card, it would help. It would help. And that deck, despite being the new age Gemini, best Gemini deck that we've seen in the Cool Minute deck, it's still kind of eh. It really is. So... I believe last Friday, like, I haven't recorded today's Daily Duels that you'll see in a couple hours, but last Friday, I remember vividly me getting the shit kicked out of me over and over again. So, yeah. And, and I mean, I'm not saying anything, but I really do think that my, my Chemical Beast deck is very, very strong, very pinnacle of the deck, you know? So, outside, well, despite the fact that I'm not running Burnout, because, you know, rip me, but I'm not running any trap cards, so... You know, I, as I was working on the deck, I was like, I was more and more, I was like, man, I need more room for my monsters and my spells, and I need more room. So, uh, in the end, the deck just ran it, took out traps, so. So, that could be one of the wrong things that I'm doing wrong, but, I mean, Burnout's kind of, eh, you know. I, I've never been a big fan of Burnout, even when, you know, I started working on the deck and I was running the Finley. I think I ran maybe two, maybe one, and now, not at all, because, eh. I mean, ooh, you get to summon my monsters from your deck, but you get, well, chemical beast, actually. I'm just like, nah, I'm good. I, I'll just summon from my hand. <laughs> and then the blocking effect, that's okay, too. But I, it's too slow. It really is. It's too slow. It gets in the way of more of my opening hand to do more aggressive rank 8 plays than it does to uh, protect me. Anyway, I'm, I'm done. I'm done with this fake card, Freddy. Uh, so, great card. Great card. Uh, I'd give you an A. I would. I would. I, if, if I was a professor in a Yu-Gi-Oh card making class and you and you presented me this class, I'd be like, "Hey, you get an A." You know, this card literally does everything that I want it to do in Chemical Beast. It's a nice rank too, and uh, you know they do have some twos in the deck. And overall, just a great card, great card. So, anyway, uh, that's pretty much all I have to say about that. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this Fake Card Friday. Thank you for sending it to me, Tundra. Really do appreciate it. Of course, I will be back next Friday with another Fake Card to look at. So thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. And I will see you guys uh, next Friday with another Fake Card to look at. Thanks for watching.